Welcome back guys, so in this video I will be trying out Starfield on my ROG ally. I have the set one extreme variant of this device. I will be running the PC Game Pass version of this game. It's a very demanding title. Even on Xbox Series X console, in-game FPS is capped at 30. I will be using a 25 watts manual profile to run this game. In this profile, I have set all three power values at 25 watts. I will also show you how to install paid FSR frame generation mod in this game. This mod is developed by Luke FC. I have already explained its functioning and set up process in another video. I will drop its link in the description. First, I will run the game without the mod, vanilla version of it. For this game, I have set the UMA buffer size to auto. Using the official Asus GPU driver version 23.10.2, BIOS version 3.3.6, command center settings 25 watts manual profile, RSR disabled. I have set the display resolution at 900p. Disable CPU boost, start the game. Its size is around 118 GB. I have installed it on ROG LS internal SSD. Radian anti lag enabled. Using a custom afterburner overlay to show you the performance metrics. Display settings 900p resolution. FSR2 enable. I have set the resolution scale at 66%. This is basically the quality preset of FSR. 66% of 900p. All settings have been set to low. Motion blur disabled. In game vsync disabled. I have enabled vsync from adrenaline software. VRS and depth of field disabled. Film gain, beg your pardon, film gain intensity set to nil. Start the game. I will straight away jump into combat. VRAM usage shown here won't be accurate as I have set the UMA buffer size to auto. I just need to equip my gun. Space pirates are attacking us. There you go. Here AP power draw is around 25 watts, total power draw is around 40 watts. You will be getting a playtime of around 60 minutes on a full battery. FPS is around 33. Explosions. It did not slow down the game. I need to kill the pirates. Image quality looks decent, it's not looking blurry. Not observing any tearing, here FPS dropped down to 30. Respectable performance. Quickly clear the area. Another one down. Almost there. There you go. So 30 to 37 FPS during combat. Now I'll load the next area. Parent Jameson. Some kind of a stream. Don't remember saving the game here. Alright, here FPS is around 35. You can see the non playable characters crowded area even without the mods this game is playable on ROG Ally really impressed by its performance Starfield had a rocky launch performance issues since then it has received some performance improving updates ok here it's raining thunderstorm FPS may drop below 30. It's hovering around 30. Twenty eight FPS. Not bad at all. Twenty eight to thirty two. Power draw is around forty two watts. We are hitting the GP bottleneck. Now I'll use the mod. You need to subscribe to Luke FC's Patreon page in order to gain access to their Discord server. From Discord, you can obtain the mods. First, extract the contents of common mod files archive file. Right click, extract all, extract. These are the files. Just copy them. 
don't need to use optional underscore nb ngx folder copy the three files open the games install directory just click on these three dots click on manage then click on files click on browse open star field folder open content folder paste the files here now star field uses fsr version 2.2 so you need to use the mods ASF file corresponding to FSR 2.2 already downloaded it and there it is copy it and just paste it in the games install directory where you pasted the other files we are ready to run the game a new window will pop up like this it will show some logs this means our mod is working anti-lag enabled display settings using the same settings as before 900p resolution low settings fsr2 there's the option for frame generation i have enabled it nvidia reflex low latency enabled i don't think it's going to work in this game start it we we'll load the same sequences and show you the input response as well game load up check out the input response Control the response here. Not observing any delay. FPS is close to 60. This is amazing. I can observe the smoothness. This mod works very nicely on ROG LF. Explosion. FPS dropped down to around 52 there. I had to reload. Get off me. So 52 to 60 FPS. Not observing any screen tearing or graphical artifacts. Best part is games hard elements are not flickering. We have seen flickering of games interface in some games when using this mod. That's not the case here. Power drive is around 42 watts. 70 FPS. Not observing any ghosting around the character models. Now I load Planet Jameson. It's the same sequence here. We are getting around 60 to 70 FPS. Next area is more demanding. A companion. Let's go. This is New Atlantis Transit or the From here onwards you can try increasing the graphical settings. Just make sure FPS does not drop below 50 with frame generation enabled. Otherwise you will observe some latency. Here I am expecting the FPS to the water is quite drop down to 50. Or so Sunny day. Fifty two FPS. Engage in combat here. Wreak havoc. Really impressed by the performance of this game with this mod. 48 to 57 FPS during combat. No graphical artifacts. Plugged in the charger using the 30 watts turbo profile. Still on client chains. Engaging in combat here. FPS is around 60. Check out the temperatures 85 degrees Celsius. This is why I avoid using this profile. Very risky for your SD card. High temperatures can fry it. It's a very smooth experience. Oh no, no one else. About to die. Game ran nicely even with the 35 watts manual profile. So 
दैट्स इट विद माई कवरेज फैस आई लेंथ द वीडियो है आई होप यू फाइंड यूजफुल थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग एंड हैव अ नाइस डे